Hello, hello, hello. I am back with you all to show you my one year progress of having sister locks. It is exactly one year today. I am so excited and this is still the best hair decision that I've made. And I'm just so excited to share that with you all. All right. my one year update um you can see the difference from the previous photos i can give you a 360 of my hair can you tell how excited i am i am one year exact to the date of um, having my sister locks installed and there are a lot of things i want to share with you in a short amount of time so I want to get straight into it. One of the first things I want to share with you is that when they say trust the process, definitely trust the process because I was getting to a point where I was like, ah, is it going to fill out? Am I going to be scalpy all the time? And it did not happen. Um, it, it wasn't scalpy like I thought it would be like my first couple of months, maybe my first two or three months. Um, I could see a lot of just scalp in between and you know, first of all, getting used to it was not, you know, it wasn't as easy to get used to um, after a retie. You know, I loved the, that, that once it kind of fills in and then I get a retie and I'm scalpy again, you know, but I promise you, trust the process and your hair will, will start to fill out and you'll get more comfortable with it. So, um, one of the things that I do want to tell people right now, I am starting to see what they call the locking process. My hair is starting to really lock. Um, every time I um, kind of get a retie or wash it, I can see the little ends locking. And a lot of times, I'm going to see if I can find one. Um, if you see the little balls or budding at the end, do not remove them because that is your hair starting to lock. I'm not sure if you can see that one. Keep that on there. Don't pull them. At first, I was starting to pull them off. I'm like, ah, some of them will fall off on their own anyway. But that is part of the locking process. So you want that to happen naturally. Okay. Here's another one that just seems a little stringy. Then there's a ball at the end. So keep those on there. It helps to lock. Um, and then also, um, one of the things that I want to tell people also is about adding unnecessary things to your hair. One time I tried, you know, the, cause I wanted that sheen look and I had, uh, some spritz, not spritz, um, uh, like, a what do you call it? Like shine, like oil, oil. And I put oil in my hair, like a spray. And it was, it was nice. It was cute. But then my scalp started getting like, um, I don't know, like just oily <laughs> and clogged, that clogged feeling. And after I stopped doing that, I, I noticed that my scalp, my hair produces its own, my scalp produces its own oil. Okay. And you don't want to clog that up. Like right now, my hair is just as shiny as I would like it and there is nothing that I have added to my hair. Now, if you want to just spruce it up a little bit, get you a little water in a spray bottle and spray it just lightly, lightly, because you don't want that frizz every day, but just lightly spray it and, and just fluff it out. Outside of that, I have used rice water one time, which is pretty good um, on your hair, but you only need a spray, spray, a spray, a spray. That's it. Fluff it through your hair and go. Um, most of the time, I love the look of the braid out. This is semi braid out because I had on a hat yesterday. And so I had on a hat, so it flattened it down. But a braid out look is what gives me this curly feel. And I have never used those like perm rods. I love to see people when they use it in there. I just don't. I just don't feel like doing it right now because I love the look of this. And then also until my, until I see all of my hair just fully locked and where it needs to be very a little more mature, I don't want to do too much to it because for me, the natural hang of your hair is what, what I really love. So 
when I first started, my hair was above my ears and I had no hang. I got a little hang time now. I got a little bit. I can shake it and it falls right back into place. Um, some of the things that I do when I sleep is I make sure that my hair is always, always, always wrapped up. Um, I don't use any specific type of wrap. I'll put on a bonnet. Sometimes I just do just a regular scarf, put the back up, put a scarf on, and just take it off in the, in the morning. Um, nothing else, nothing major. I will say the shampoo that you use really, really, really helps. Um, I use... Uh, the Tropical Roots by Brown Brothers. And then I also use Talia Waji's Pre Poo. So this is a stimulating herbal um, cleanser. So this is what I use first as a pre shampoo. And then I use the Tropical Roots shampoo. This clarifying shampoo is needed to get all of the um, oil, natural oil, and things out of your hair. I have a very dry scalp, very, very, very dry. So I used to always have the flakes on the back of my neck, and I'm like, no, I didn't go to locks to have this. So um, I had to find something that would clean my, really cleanse my scalp. Continue to braid and band. I know my stylist, I mean, my um, lactation told me you don't have to do that anymore. I continue to braid and band because I was having a lot of. Um, areas around the edges and in the back that were just coming loose and my hair is a little fine and a little softer and so when I did not braid and band a lot of times I was getting whole locks coming apart you know and I don't have that problem anymore I still braid and band every time take the five minutes to braid your hair and band it also I love the curly look afterwards outside of that that's basically my routine I love the professionalism of my hair, the things that I can do. I can wear it up. I can just swoop it to the side. I don't have any color in my hair. I am a natural, what they call um, a dirty brown, right? So in the sun, I don't know if you can see the highlights of my hair. I don't like a lot brown like it usually be um, when I was a loose natural. Um, sandy brown. I'm sorry, not dirty brown. Sandy brown. And so, but with my hair like this, it looks a lot darker. And that's the only thing that I wish, you know, did not, that I don't necessarily care for is that when I was a loose natural, my hair did have its natural sandy brown highlights, okay? Um, outside of that, I love my hair. I love the versatility. Um, and I love the ease of being able to get up and go. That's it. That's it. If you are deciding or thinking about Sister Locks, Get it, try it, make it happen, make it happen. All right, you can ask any questions down below. I'll be happy to answer. I always go to the comments and um, answer any questions. And thank you all so much for tuning in. See you next time. Check out a snippet of my previous video about the do's and don'ts of sister locks. You must wash your hair. You must wash your hair by braiding and banding when your locks are not mature. You should definitely use the sister lock shampoo. Somebody say hello. Somebody say hello. It's the, listen.